Hello and welcome to SnowRunner and today we are looking at a top mod which is the Land Rover Series 3 the Camel Trophy Edition now I first tried to look for this one when I got the game a couple of days ago and it's just been revamped so that's why I couldn't find it so here it is let's go into the garage and I'll show you what the crack is in there so there it is in the garage and we have got quite a lot of customization available we've got a few different engines there's a stock one there not too much money for the upgraded one you got five grand there and then there's two other different engines there uh, I think one was a rock crawl one was no we had a rock crawling gearbox I think was the crack then we go on to the gearboxes and we got highway on off road there and also you got two extra boxes there which uh yeah a bit more durability on those top ones and then we go down to the suspension and we got quite a few different ones we can raise it right the way up there for a bit of rock crawling or getting over rough terrain so like that and then tires wise we've got a load of different tires on it and of course you can fit them without the right suspension so you've got to be careful of that otherwise it'll look a bit a bit silly but not too much money again now we go down to the mud tires and these are the ones what i like because they're only 200 pounds each which you can't go wrong at that and i'll tell you what i think i'm gonna go for we're gonna have them that's what we're gonna have we'll have some of those on there and then let's actually we were not gonna have a stock suspension are we I think we ought to just go for should we go for it yeah let's just go for a big raised on there and then we go down to a winch and I still got some upgrades unavailable but that's the offline winch so we use the offline winch I haven't got any spare tires on the back because they're not available to me at the moment and then diff lock engageable well I didn't understand that because there's two here now that one and then that one so it's like well What's the difference there? Is one different to the other? I don't think they would be, but I don't know. I'm not sure why there's two engageable there. That might be a mistake. And uh, I'm not sure. Now, I do like these add-ons for the the roof as well. Like this one, you got you got the 60 on the fuel there, and then you got 500 repair fuel points, 80 on there, and then that one's the 400 on the fuel tank. But I like the look of those. They look really nice. And you got the built-on lights in there as well and then a snorkel option which they're not available to me but we can go over to the miscellaneous and you've got the roof ladder and then the rooftop we've got the extra lights on there on the top this thing the camera isn't really showing you and then we have got a few different bumpers where this one actually comes with the snorkel as well so you can save yourself a bit of money there and then it's got rims just the standard rims and then we go over to the colors and it's got all the different colors now this is the main color we always see these landies which is the blue where is it it's like the light blue i think it's that one there no i'll tell you what i can't find it now but it might be this light but yeah i'm going to go for the the camel one anyway which is on there but quite a few different color choices are for it as you can see and then we go over and we've got interior customization but there's nothing there at the moment for it but we're not worried about the interior customization are we really and i think that about covers it so it does yeah so i'll tell you what let's go we've got the stock engine which didn't seem too bad now i've tried the larger one where it's not vastly overpowered or anything on this one so if you're just looking for a nice mod for a pottering around then this is the one to get now this was made by Zyden CZ I think it was so I think we're ready to go yeah we should be able to go let's go and give it a test now we're on Smithville so I think what we will do we will head out straight out of the garage straight down and we'll head out and try and uh, I've got a watchtowers to go and get so we've got a little bit of mud and what have you to go through but you can see the power on that that motor seems all right straight into the water there but what i do find with these these mods as i've only been using them the last few days and what have you but you know if you put the power on it will just spin it up and it won't go any foot very quick but you just give it that little bit of power and it makes so much difference now you do this on the vanilla trucks and vehicles and it doesn't really do a lot it doesn't really move it that that far but 
Anyway, so let's go. Like, this is a nice little track, or trail, going down the back here. And hopefully, we won't roll it. Whoa. Oh, here we go. And I'll tell you what, while we're in the sun there, we'll uh, have another. I'll tell you what, it won't let me look at it until it's on the flat. Let's get down on the flat a little bit more first. And I thought, better have a look at it. There I am. Why is that going slow? It's got the handbrake on. So, yeah, overall, it looks a pretty nice mod. Got the camel trophy. Well, you can't really see them covered in mud now on the sides, but it does look really nice, actually. Done a good job. Now, this was in Mud Runner and it's been brought over, but like I said, it was brought out. I'm sure I've seen it a few months back, and then it's been reworked for Snow Runner. So, now I think we are heading down. Uh, yeah, well, we can go and do that watchtower first, and then I plan to go over. Where is it? We'll go over to the water, cross the water, see what it's like going through the water and what have you. So let's get down to the this watchtower first. And you have got the. It is engageable, isn't it? Hang on, because we did have that as an option, didn't we? Put it in low. Yeah, so we've got an engageable diff lock on it, which I do prefer on some vehicles to have that option especially if you're getting stuck a bit but you can actually slap it into diff lock and get a bit of traction however I'm very good at forgetting to use diff lock and struggling with on without it but there you go so I think we're heading down this trail here I should really know really I've been playing Smithville enough times already haven't we really but yeah this is the track I like this tra track down here it's pretty pretty nice track Whoa, there we go. And it's handling beautiful. And it bins I'm a British, I thought, well, you know, you've gotta to, gotta to do a, a British mod, and I thought, well, this is the first mod review I'm doing for PC. I thought, well, gotta be the landy. And when I seen it come out this morning, I thought, right, let's get on it and have a look at it. See, if you just put the power on, it just spins up, doesn't really go far. I'll tell you what, let's go into low and put a bit of diff lock on, put a bit of throttle. Yeah, and we wind out of there. No problems. Get that diff lock off before it damages itself. But a huge amount of tyres available for it. It's always nice when they put all these different options. Because I know a lot of people will be like, well, no, I want it expanded. And then, you know, it's always nice to try it out, really. Especially with this lift on it. That's uh, pretty stable. Because some of these mods with the big lift on it, they are very easy to topple over. I think we can put that back into auto. Now, I think the, the trail actually went straight up here. Yeah, perhaps not. Let's do a bit of bit of low plus and then diff lock on and I have got the offline winch as well just in case we get into trouble because it's like we're getting into trouble oh here we go and we're head up the hill now where's the track gone there it is. Is it? I'll tell you what, I'm a bit lost now. No, I'll tell you what, I did this before. I just went up the wrong path and thought, well, where's the, where's the trail here? And it won't reverse when you're in low, as you know, but still always try to. Yeah, so the, the trail is there. So that's it, we'll head up this way. And go and do that watchtower because I have got a lot to open on this map means it is brand new but it makes so much difference having mods you can just get get around so much easier it's not so much of a hardship whatsoever so where's the okay so I missed that then let's just go through the bloody trees I think we'll be alright. 
I did think there was a little track going off, but obviously not. Now you wait, we don't get trapped in some trees here, in some of these branches. But now I am playing on the PCS, which this this game seems to run a lot better than the um, the live the current live one, which is a bit strange. I thought it would be around the other way, but there's a lot of extra features on here, like the camera. It seems to be working a lot better on the PTS than it does on the live one. I didn't like it. It keeps um, keeps zooming in and out when you don't want it to, and you're like, well, just stay there. Why can't you just fix the camera? That's all I want to do. I tell you what, we're going to get into trouble here now, aren't we? You see, even going past those trees on the live game, if you touch some of these tree branches, it just it just stops you dead. And we want to get out of here, really. Let me just head over this way. And we should find a trail again. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a trail. No, I'm completely lost. Yeah, we're going. We've gone completely the wrong way here. The plan was to go down on that, that way. Wow, yeah, I really went the wrong way. How the hell do I manage that? Oh, because I thought that was a trail, that's why. Right then, so let's get back on track. So we want to swing a left. And head our way down. But I, I've had a little go with this for about half hour, 45 minutes. Before I come on to do the video and uh, didn't have any problems with it. It, uh, it goes really well. But it is a landy. These things just keep going. But quite stable with the lift on there as well. Nice mod. Done a good job. And timing for bringing it out today was absolutely perfect. Really was. Whoa. Right, so we're going to go back into the mud now, and that's where we wanted to head down that way. I was just going to see what it's like going through, and let's put put a marker on so we can go the right way. So we want to go there and head across that way, which is down over this way. So I know it is quite muddy down this way. But that performs with no problems whatsoever. Lighting for it. And there's a little trail going across. Now we have got an interior. I said, said it's still... Oops, whoa, not used to the speed of the camera. You see the working mirrors. And there was a few other things which aren't finished yet. But it's proper old school. Uh, Landy, Land Rover, brilliant, love it. But yeah, nice bit of kit. I, I think this one is going to be sticking in my garage for a while. Seems to be one of those vehicles you can just get in and just go off for a drive. Now have a steady cruise. Especially with this tuned engine, it's, uh, I like it. Nice mod. Uh, I've still got to get on the PTS. I've been trying to get on there all day today. I've just been busy doing other videos and stuff. And uh, well, on the Yukon, and still haven't managed to get on the Yukon. I've got to the garage, and I just haven't left the garage yet. So I want to get on that later today. Got to get on with it. You can see it does stay in the lower gears going up here. I'll tell you what, we probably need a bit of low, probably help. Come on, get up there. There we go. You know, we're just getting stuck on something, isn't it? We are. We seem to do it, be doing a little bit of spinning there, but that might be down to me going too much power.
Where is that watch? That watch tower is down, isn't it? Where are we? I'll tell you what, I'm totally lost. No, oh, of course we are. But there, uh, I'll tell you what, I had the map upside down, and I was thinking, hey, I thought we were heading the opposite way, but never mind. Because the night drawing in already. See, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Don't like that. Now that's proper dark, so we do two more, and there we go. That should be a little bit better. But no, overall, the Land Rover Series 3 performs beautifully. Now this is a like a first look mod review, as you know, I'm not going to say, oh, it's great, it's this and that, but so far it's a pretty nice mod. I haven't had any problems with it, and like I said, I've probably only been using it for sort of an hour and a half or so. But you can't really do a proper review after an hour and a half. You've got to drive it for a few weeks or so at least, haven't you, really? Before you decide. I know some vehicles you can jump in and just don't like them straight away, but this one I did like. Let's get it in a bit low. Diff lock. Whoa. Get up those rocks. Might need to go a bit slower there. I think it might be those tyres I'm just slipping on the rocks there. Come on, let's just get past that bit. We've only got to get up there. Come on. So, what the hell is that stuck on? Oh, there we go. Seemed like the handbrake or something was on then. Come on, get up there. There we go. Put the power back on. And we are away. Back up to the garage. Right out. Well, that's it for the first look of the Series 3 Land Rover. And I actually did have a couple of people mention Land Rover on the messages the other day, so if they're going to be happy bunnies, it's back in the game. And hopefully this will be available for console, because it hasn't got, I didn't notice any, oh yeah, we've got a badge on the front actually, but might be able to have those removed and whatever, because they are a bit funny about it if they're not licensed, but there you go. Hopefully we get this one for mod, mods for console, would be nice. Right out, I hope you've enjoyed this first look mod review of the Series 3 Land Rover. And if you did, then why don't you go and check out, whoa, a bit of tail happy there, any of my other videos. And did you know I cover snow running news? Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.